Well, what? <laughs> you got me really confused. I confuse easily. Um, welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. Um, Karina Russo from Front Row for Life. That's good. Michelle Messina Championship <laughs> for our Nice Guy Booking. Shoshana Flack from San Francisco, former Metal Rules writer. <laughs> Matt Gibbons, Metal Rules co-host. Jeff Ravenport, host. I like it. Hostess with the mostess. <laughs> so in the news, Evile or Evili or Aveli. I think it's Evile. Is it Evile? It makes sense that it would be Evile. Could it just be Evil? No, it's with an E on it. it. It's a silent E. It's like mobile, twice. mobile. Hey, listen, I know, yeah. I know them personally. I don't, I don't even know them at all. Um, so they have a, they have, I like this band. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I enjoyed them. Yeah, I like um, them too. Like I said, they played Champs twice. Oh. Um, first time with Bonded by Blood and like them too. And Gamma Bomb. Mm -hmm. Like them too. And then they played with Bonded by Blood and Early Man. I know. Them. Early Man. Early Man from I've Alaska that are like two guys. No, they're from New York. Oh, maybe not. Who am I thinking of that's like... The late man is who you're thinking of. Oh, late man. <laughs> eight man? Eight man. Eight man. Wait, you said Gamma Bomb. Early eight. You had Evile, Evil, Gamma Bomb, and Bottom by Blood. It was when they were playing the Overkill Tour. <laughs> that's a great yeah, lineup. I would have yeah. loved to go on that yeah. show. Did, was that a well-attended show? Um, I don't think so. Really? Yeah. People are fucking I don't remember. Morons. It was like two years ago. Or right, let me ask you a question, because uh, we, we talk about this a lot on the show. All three of those bands are from, we were having a discussion, I started having mm -hmm. this conversation with you, are from the new generation. Mm -hmm. They're all kids, basically, mm -hmm. most of these kids in the band. What do you think about kids doing the, the like, the, do you think it's all right for them to do it? Like, there's, like, a lot of people that are my age are like, oh, they weren't even alive then, they can't do that. <laughs> That's a stupid I attitude. I think it's yeah. great that they appreciate that, I mean, they're keeping it alive. Yeah, it's like, I like old that. school thrash music alive, or whatever kind of music it is that you if they do it right <laughs> if they do it right yeah yeah, yeah. And, and all those bands are great yeah mm -hmm. all the bands you named yeah i mean i think it's very you know it's amazing where they get the outfits too i'm like where do you buy like yeah, yeah. high top tennis shoes yeah. now i'm like Maybe. completely amazed eBay. By that. yeah that's yeah. probably yeah. true but no it's it's like i don't see how people can be annoyed and ticked off when they're a good band and I, it's like they're actually like <laughs> showing respect to the music that we love from the 80s. So yeah, like why would it. you be annoyed with that? But I really, I enjoyed Evile. I was like, look at these young whippersnappers and they're yeah, like, yeah. in their latex, it was like a plastic cage kind of thing. I'm like, yeah. look, they've upgraded from like the shoot a video where there's like a chain link fence to like, it's like, now you're behind plastic. <laughs> I think the first time I met Bonded by Blood, I was like, wow, are you like 16 years old? Yeah. Like, they yeah. looked very young. The first time I saw them, so I think there might be a couple, one or two different people in the in the band the last time they played for you. But I remember when I saw them with Overkill, I, I was looking and I'm like, yeah, they look really young. You can't it's check like, yet. All right, he has a wristband on. He's probably 21, <laughs> maybe. Right. But he looks 16. Yeah. But, yeah, they were definitely I love kids. when, like, 21-year-olds, I ask them for ID and they get all offended. I'm like, you just turned yeah. 21. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, what are you you should be proud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you're like, legal. Do you think I'm not going to ID you yeah. because you're 21? <laughs> Yeah, I'm you get to a certain age time. and you love getting carded. I You're love like, getting carded. Yes. I'm going to card you and I'm going to pretend it's fake and not let you in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the things that's neat about, like about this really. band, though, is, is that uh, he sings. Mm -hmm. He's not like a screamer. He's, oh, a, he's yeah. a singer. Yeah. And there's not, like, yeah. I, we were talking about that a couple weeks ago, there's not many bands that sing. Like mm -hmm. Forbidden, mm -hmm. you know, where the guy sings. Mm -hmm. you I know had what them mean? at Champs. Yeah. You had Forbidden at oh, Champs? Yes, I did. What? How did you miss that, dude? Yeah. That How did that? That was what? an epic fail, yeah. Jeff. You had Forbidden at Champs. I did have Forbidden Was that the Champs. White Wizard Havoc show? Oh, White was. Wizard. The show we were talking about earlier. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Tell me there's a lot of people there for that show. Oh, yeah. 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 There's a lot of people. You had Forbidden at Champs? White yeah. Wizard are one of, my, so, so. one of my local favorites. Well, not, not oh, that Oh, my God. I love Forbidden. Yeah, he was. He sang for them. I did. I think it was the Chalice Havoc, of Blood, no White Wizard, Chalice Forbidden, up. Uh, whoever else. And you were rocking the Jew for that day. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I forget shows blend together. Sometimes I forget. I, I want to know so how. Many. Yeah, I want to know how that that happened, and they didn't let me know because when they played the Thrash of the Titans, I sang on stage with Forbidden. I did Chalice of Blood with them. It was with like a year and a half ago. 
And I went all to San Francisco uh, to do it. New Jersey? Come on. Really? Yeah. A half hour? It's very sad. Two ninety five. Yeah. That's ridiculous. I mean, it what? was, let's see. She's going to find the I'm gonna fire. I'm going to find the research now. I can't believe I've forbidden there. That's, <laughs> I I'm, did, like, I did. so disgusted. That you didn't I know I had entombed. You didn't know I had forbidden. I know. Yeah, What's up with that? that? No, no, every time I go, it's like Bunny and the Bear. <laughs> You've just got to pay attention. I do. I read sure all the things. So every time I see a show, me and Matt, we, we both look. Well, I've been there the more future. than you, though. I've been without you sometimes. Oh, like to, Ooh, to he's see been with you. Yeah, yeah. Cattle, well, to, cattle to cap. Well, I had a problem at that time. That's right. Yeah, you did. My wife was in the hospital, so it kind uh, of you get kind of a pass. You know? Yeah, <laughs> just kind of. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I missed it because Maria was in the hospital. Like, Josh, oh, sorry, Josh. Josh. Josh's feelings were hurt, but Josh was asked about it. You didn't. You all right? Well, he um, he said you would text him, so I was like, all right. He texted me. He's like, hey, he's naked, like, huh. at the, naked at the show. Why aren't you getting down here? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> That's really and now so my wife. He's like, so very unfortunate. <laughs> Why'd you snap me a pepper shot, dude? <laughs> snap me a pepper shot. That's got to be the phrase of the day. Yeah, shoot up your hospital gown. <laughs> <laughs> Was it after the run in Croatia? I don't know. You had Rod in Christ there. <laughs> <laughs> that I knew about it. Just, you did? Yeah, I don't know. Rotten Christ. It's probably uh, smelly. All that rotting yeah. Christ. Yeah. 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 There's actually, there is a band that has rotting meat on oh, stage. It was Revocation. Forbidden, Re yep. Revocation, White Wizard, and Havoc in 2011. Shh. Yeah, it's only two years ago. Friday, June 24th. Was that before yeah, the Can you get them back again? <laughs> um, <laughs> do a one the obituary? come back for the Jeff Obituary Jeff was actually November of 2011. So yeah, right before because you started rolls. Yeah. I booked the show the night before I was going into the hospital to have my child. Wow. <laughs> um, and that was one of the first shows I came back. And it was only, I mean, I don't even think it was a month after I had the baby. Yeah. But I was like, I'm not missing obituary. Sweet. I love that show. That was a great yeah. show. You had a great show. Yeah, that was like good. a lot of people. And you had Swashbuckle there. We were there like... In the mix. Swashbuckle so like lives at chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's I like those guys. Yeah. They're yeah. fun. I've even seen them. Yeah. yeah. Pirate Thrash. Get it right. Yeah. Pirate Thrash. I had their that trucker metal band real. playing. I saw that big, big rig. rig. Yep. And we were making fun of Pat saying that every band he's in should just play the whole night and because he's in like a million bands. So we're gonna, we want to have them back as big rig because we had them here as Swashbuckle, so... And we want to go, we're, and that's when we, back when we were filming on the phone, and they were like, what? <laughs> you guys are filming on a phone? <laughs> <laughs> Like, we're on a nuclear blast, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a phone? Yeah. yeah, just roll with it. And then Brian was here and was all Zanny like, crab fuck country. you, fat man. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, what a oh one thing I want to mention about this band before the, the uh, battery runs out. I don't know how that's doing. Oh, I don't know. Uh, is uh, Eval is uh, celebrating Record Store Day by releasing a split 7-inch picture disc vinyl with Entombed. Oh, wow. That's a very cool. That's a weird period. When is Rickard Store Day? Rickard's April 20th. Oh, no. Are you April 20th? Mm -hmm. 420, 420, dude. Yeah. Right. The limited edition yeah. release will feature Entomb's 1990 track, Drowned, along with Eva, Evile's 2012 cover version. Hmm. Available on Vana for the first time ever. And it'll be, yeah, it'll be available huh. April 20th in strictly limited quantities. Uh, dude. Now, Jeff also has a split 7-inch, but that's a different story. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> What's that yeah. called? Uh, it's like a Prince Albert or something? Yeah, I, I do not have a Prince Albert. Yeah. I don't want anybody even touching my penis tip, let alone... Slicing it? Yeah, let alone doing anything. And putting mustard yeah, on it? Yeah, no mustard no on mustard. it. No ah. mustard. We should have had more women here. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we have on... <laughs> Thanks, Evile. That's what we have on Evile. Split penises and... Well, wait, when's the album coming out? 420, dude. Oh, no, no, oh. that's... Oh, 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 that's May 27th it's in... It's called Skull. May 27th right. in Europe and... Yeah, May 27th in Europe and North America. On, uh, I'm still here. Yep, May 27th. Cool. Hit it. 